Who are these mysterious creatures that adorn our decor, stir our imaginations, and are featured in artistic renditions? How were they created? What is their purpose? The Bible has much to say about angels, records many stories of men and women who encountered them, and reveals that they have a divine purpose in the lives of believers. So let's begin our exploration of this fascinating subject from a scriptural perspective. The title angel means messenger, so by definition, an angel is a messenger. The Bible has over 300 references to angels and defines two groups of angelic messengers. The good angels carry out the commands of God, while evil angels carry out Satan's deceitful and evil commands. Angels did not evolve, nor were they formerly men. Angels were created by God at His command. Praise ye Him, all His angels, praise ye Him, all His hosts. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For He commanded, and they were created. Psalms 148-2 to and 5 The invisible things in heaven and the hosts referred to in the following scriptures include angels. For by him were all things created, that are in heaven, and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, or dominions, or principalities, or powers. All things were created by him and for him. Colossians 1.16 Thou, even thou, art Lord alone. Thou hast made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth, and all things that are therein, the seas, and all that is therein. And thou preservest them all. And the host of heaven worshipeth thee. Nehemiah 9-6 By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. Psalm 33-6 We also are told by scripture that angels were present when God laid the foundations of the earth, and they rejoiced to witness his creative work. Where were you when I created the earth? Tell me, since you know so much. Who decided on its size? Certainly you'll know that. Who came up with the blueprints and measurements? How was its foundation poured, and who set the cornerstone? While the morning stars sang in chorus and all the angels shouted praise, Job 38-47 NSG. The Bible is not clear on the exact time when God created angels, but we do know that the angels rejoiced as He created the earth and that by the sixth day of creation, the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. Genesis 2-1 Angels have many purposes, as you will learn in this study, but all of their ministries fall under two major categories, their worship of God and their work for God. Angels were originally created to worship the Trinity of God. You will learn more about angelic worship in chapter 11 of this manual. Angels were also created to carry out God's assignments. Their biblical mandate is to Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Psalm 103-20 The Lord makes his angels spirits, his ministers of flaming fire. Psalm 104-4 The angels are all ministering spirits, sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation. Hebrews 1.14 Angels are dispatched from the throne room of God to minister to believers who are the heirs of salvation. If you are a true believer, then that includes you. It is through Jesus Christ that angels ascend and descend to and from heaven to do God's bidding. Jacob first saw this in a vision, Genesis 28 12, which was later explained by Jesus. And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. John 1 51. In summary, angels were created for the purposes of worshiping God and working for Him by fulfilling specific assignments. You will learn more about their specific ministries as you progress in this study. Heaven is the home of the good angels of God. We see them present there continuously in the scenes described in the book of Revelation. Isaiah and Ezekiel also describe them as being present in God's throne room. Jesus said that the angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. Matthew 18.10 Although they live in heaven, angels are continuously active and present on earth. The number of angels' angels can appear in any number. 1. Luke 1 26 29. 2. John 20 12. Acts 1 210. 3. Genesis 18 1 2. And as a multitude, Luke 2 13. The Bible gives no definite figures, but we know that there is a fixed number of angels created by God as angels do not reproduce and they do not die. Matthew 22, 28, 30. According to the Bible, the angels are thousands of thousands. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. 
thousand thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened. Daniel 7.10 The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Psalm 68.17 And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. And the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands. Revelation 5.11 Legends Jesus said that he could call twelve legions of angels to his assistance if he desired to do so, Matthew 26.53. A legion was a military term in the Roman army for a group of at least six thousand soldiers. When Jesus said twelve legions would be sent at his request, that is seventy-two thousand angels, multitudes, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. Luke 2 13, 14. This was a multitude of the heavenly host, not the whole host. Hosts. Psalm 46 7 indicates that God has hosts of angels. In the Old Testament, Jesus is repeatedly called the Lord of hosts. Thou, even thou, art Lord alone. Thou hast made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth, and all things that are therein, the seas, and all that is therein, and thou preservest them all, and the host of heaven worship at thee. Nehemiah 9 6. The word of God declares, As the host of heaven cannot be numbered, neither the sand of the sea measured, so will I multiply the seed of David my servant, and the Levites that minister unto me. Jeremiah 33 22. Innumerable. But ye are come unto Mount Shen, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels. Hebrews 12.22 God named the stars. Psalm 147-4 He knows each of his angels by name. He also knows your name and the number of hairs on your head. Matthew 10.30 If each person on earth has a guardian angel, then that increases the innumerable host even more. One thing for sure, when confronting spiritual enemies, we can be assured that they that be with us are more than they that be with them. 2 Kings 6 16. And as Job questions, who is able to number his hosts of angels? Job 25-3. The series of activity of angels, the spheres of activity of angels, refers to the territories in which they function. The book of Revelation confirms that angels are active in their dwelling place in heaven. Matthew 22 30. Angels are also active on earth but there is no biblical record of them taking up permanent residence on earth. So how did this spiritual chasm occur? God does not create evil. Satan, the enemy of our souls, was a perfect angel when he was originally created by God, but he was given a free will to choose good or evil. That was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created till iniquity was found in thee. They apparently travel between heaven and earth, Genesis 28-12 and John 1-51. The spiritual division of angels' angels fall into two spiritual categories, holy and elect, Mark 8, 38, 1 Timothy 5, 21, or evil and unclean spirits, Luke 8, 2, 11, 24, 26. They are either the angels of God, John 1, 51, or Satan's angels, Matthew 25, 41, Ezekiel 28, 15. The Bible describes Satan's rebellion against God in Isaiah 14, 12, 15. When Satan sinned, he did not sin alone. He took with him a portion of the angelic host of heaven who participated in his rebellion against God. Satan and the rebellious angels were cast out of heaven. They were no longer good spiritual beings, angels, but became evil beings referred to as demons. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, Satan, and the dragon fought, and his angels. So how did this spiritual chasm occur? God does not create evil. Satan, the enemy of our souls, was a perfect angel when he was originally created by God, but he was given a free will to choose good or evil. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created till iniquity was found in thee, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Revelation 12-7-9 Ezekiel 28-15 The Bible describes Satan's rebellion against God in Isaiah 14-12-15. When Satan sinned, he did not sin alone. 
he took with him a portion of the angelic host of heaven who participated in his rebellion against God. Satan and the rebellious angels were cast out of heaven. They were no longer good spiritual beings, angels, but became evil beings referred to as demons. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, Satan. And the dragon fought, and his angels.